Welcome to CarDesign.Academy. I'm going to show you some additional means of moving around the space. Now you've probably uh, taken some of the tutorials included in the Gravity Sketch app, and, I, and if you haven't, I recommend you do. Uh, however, there are some additional features uh, for moving around the space that I think you're going to find very helpful. Now, um, if you click on the blue button on the left side, you'll see under Settings, uh, there's this little star that says Beta. Make sure you have your tool belt clicked uh, to Enabled. Enabled means that uh, you have some additional tools at your disposal, which I'll show you in a second here. So um, if, I, if I take my middle finger button and I, and I swipe my controller to the left, you'll see some, some additional tools come up. Um, we'll get into some of these other tools later, but the one I really want to show you is the banana. Uh, this is really important because this allows you to move around the space in human scale and to stay in human scale. And so what you do is you, 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 you hold the banana with your middle finger button and you can see there's a there's a, uh, a projection of footprints on the ground, um, and and as you pull the trigger, you'll you'll teleport to that position. So if you're moving around the model, and you want to stay in human scale, this is a great way to really uh, move around and 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 get that impression of what the vehicle looks like in full size. Um, I spend a lot of time looking at models this way because, again, human scale is extremely important and it's one of the big benefits of working in Gravity Sketch. Even if you go into the interior, um, you'll see you know, it, it allows you to really get inside and, and experience the, uh, the space of the vehicle as, 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 you would, as you would experience it if you're sitting in the vehicle. So, um, so, that's, um, so that's one of the, the key ways of getting around in human scale. Now, normally, when you're using your controllers and you're you're moving around like this, you're constantly changing scale. Um, by the way, there's another uh, tool that I want to show you, and this is called vertical lock. And um, and one of the things that often I hear from people using VR for the first time is this feeling of seasickness or disorientation. Vertical lock is a setting that enables you to stay in the vertical orientation. So if I turn vertical lock off. You know, I'm constantly moving the car around. I can turn it in any direction. I do this only if I'm really getting underneath the car and I need to work on it. But um, normally I, I keep vertical lock turned on. You can see it just snaps the car back to vertical. So that kind of helps a little bit with the, the, uh, the, the disorientation that some people feel. Over time, if, you, if you're consistent with uh, using VR, you will get used to it. It, it doesn't, uh, doesn't bother me at all. And I can wear my headset for hours on end. So, uh, so that's another one. Now back to moving around. Um, if I if I hold my middle finger button and I pull the trigger at the same time, actually I do that on the left side. If I hold the middle finger button and uh, on the left side and I pull the trigger at the same time, you can see the car just snapped to human scale. And if I keep keep holding those buttons and I rotate my controller around, you can see I'm actually able to rotate the car as if it were on a turntable. So that's another great way to look at the vehicle in human scale. It instantly brings you back to human scale. Now, if I want to, if I let go, it'll go back to the way it was. But if I wanted to stay in that position, I can just click the right middle finger button as I'm releasing the left, like that. Now, if I release it, it stays in that position. Another way to get to human scale. So again, let's say you've been, you've been, you know, moving around, scaling around, and you want to get back to human scale. Uh, if you if you click on your settings and and hit home orientation, that will bring you back to the zero position in human scale. And then from there, I can again I can grab my banana and I can I can teleport around. It's just a great way to to um, reorient myself and to really know that I'm looking at the vehicle in you know it, as if it were a real car sitting in front of me. So um, I highly recommend, you know, when you're working on the car, yeah, you got to scale in and out all the time. But when you're um, when you're really evaluating the car and you're really looking at it, I, I highly recommend you stay in human scale as much as you can because it's just it's just one of the uh, the most important benefits of working in VR. Now, for your tool belt, if you want to make it go away, you just click on the middle finger button, hold it, and then you swipe to the to the right. So swipe to the left to make your tool belt appear, slight swipe to the right to make it disappear. So those are some nice uh, important uh, tips on uh, moving and orienting yourself in human scale in Gravity Sketch. Thanks for watching.